There's no doubt the Hobbycrom has been an instant hit, with sales of the little 125cc bike continuing to rise in double digits and nearly toppling the long reigning volume leader of the small displacement street bike category, Kawasaki's Ninja 300, last year. Team Green was in the boat to take that threat lying down, so it brought the Southeast Asian market Z125 Pro over as an early release. 2017 model to give the Grom some serious competition. We got the opportunity to ride the new Kawasaki through the streets of San Francisco as well as on a fun little mini closed the course in a parking lot on the man-made Treasure Island in the bay. The Kawasaki Z125 Pro, the Pro suffix stems from the manual for speed gearbox, while the standard Z125 in Asia has an automatic Transmission, is very similar to the Grom in overall size, but things begin to become a little different from there. For starters, the Z125 Pro's air-cooled SOC engine is over square in configuration. The bore measurement is significantly larger than the stroke measurement, compared to the Honda as well as having a higher compression ratio, so it has more power potential. Whether the Kawasaki actually does have more power than the Grom is hard to gauge without riding the two bikes side by side, especially when you're talking only 10 or so peak horsepower. We were pleasantly surprised at the little Kawasaki suspension and braking performance. The non-adjustable inverted fork and four-step preload adjustable single rear shock looked like budget pieces, but they performed admirably throughout our ride and even handled being hustled around the closed the course without any complaints. The Z125 Pro has fairly spacious ergos for such a small bike, and the seat is just wide and supportive enough to keep your butt from going sore after 30 minutes in the saddle, and with the gas sipping engine and 2.0 gallon fuel tank, the Kawasaki will go a lot longer than that before stopping at just $2,999 for the amount of fun you're going to have the Kawasaki Z125 Pro is a major steal better head down to your local dealer now before they get snapped up because these bikes certainly won't sit on the showroom floor for long